Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn to merge data from different data sources with Power Query. So let's begin the video. Um, so in this video, what we'll do is we'll grab data from a SQL Server database. Uh, we'll grab data from an Access database and we'll grab data from a text file and we'll try to uh, merge it uh, together. So uh, as a process, so um, I've got uh, Excel 2013 open and I've got the Power Query tab open with me. So on the Power Query tab, I go to um, from other sources, up, mm, sorry, from um, SQL Server database and I click on that. And uh, it opens up an interface for me. So because it's a local host, so I'll just type local host as the database is installed on my local machine and click OK. And yep. So it says the data source you're trying to uh, access doesn't su support en encryption. I have not actually enabled encryption, so I'm okay with that. I click on okay. And um, I've got this table on AdventureWorks database called the product table. I'll grab that. As you can see, it's got some one, two, three, four, five, some 11 records. So I'll, I'll just say load, but I'll click on load too. What I want to do is I don't want to bring the data till the final step. So I'll just create an active connection and create load. So I've got a connection to the DIM products table. Next, we will go and connect to the access database. And I've got an access database on my C drive and data folder. So I click on that and click on OK. And I've got some data coming from the access database as well. So got like five records. Again, do the same thing, load to and uh, only create connection load and as the final pro uh, process we'll just get data from a csv file click on from csv and i've got a csv file called products data click on that and as you can see uh, the power query uh, editor opens and it shows me whatever data is available in my CSV file. And again, I'll say close and load to rather than loading the data and create only connection. So I've got these connections with me. So I've got a connection to the SQL server. I've got a connection to the access database and I've got connection to the CSV file. Now let us merge all this data together. So, well, it says merge, but append is the, is what we need to click on to merge this data. So I click on append. And it gives me an option. So first what I'll do is I'll get the SQL Server data and I'll get the access data and click on OK. Uh, it gives me these privacy levels for the data. So at the moment, I'll just mark as organizational and click save. We'll get into this uh, data privacy levels in another video. At the moment, what we've done is we've just grabbed all the data and uh, uh, merged it together. Now we want to merge the data also uh, in the CSV file. So we'll again go and click on the append queries. And this time what we'll do is we'll select the product data in the CSV file and click OK. So as you can see, two more uh, rows have been added. We'll just give it a meaningful name. Uh, we'll just call it uh, data from data merge from multiple sources. And then we'll just say close and load. 
So once we do this, all the data from the three different data, data sources will be merged and loaded into the Excel workbook. So as you can see, we've got this is the SQL Server data. Uh, the next five records are from the Access database and the last two records are from the CSV file. So in this video, we learned how to merge data from multiple data sources using Power Query. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching this video.